Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna do a stress test between the S21 Ultra, the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5. I will put these three phones under one extreme condition to test three things. How fast is the CPU of each phone, which one has better thermals and how good is the battery life. This extreme condition is to charge them to 100%, open the camera and keep tapping the shutter key until they die. But why I chose this specific scenario? Based on my real life usage, nothing drains my battery and make my phone hotter more than using the camera. The only time I get temperature warning is when I use the camera extensively, even heavy gaming does not impact the phone battery and the performance that bad. This comparison will answer a lot of questions that you might have about each phone, so let's see how each one will perform, but before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Before starting the test, let's make sure that all phones are on the same settings to ensure fairness. First, the screen brightness is calibrated to be between 200 to 205 lux on all phones. All phones are on the latest software available at the time of filming this video. Airplane mode is turned on. The S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5 are set to 60Hz refresh rate to match the 12 Pro Max. The display resolutions are slightly different, so I couldn't exactly match all of them, but I have the S21 Ultra set to 1080p, which is similar to the Pixel 5 resolution, but the 12 Pro Max have a slightly higher resolution of 1284. I will use the main camera on all phones, and the S21 Ultra will be set to 12 megapixel resolution to match the other two. Live or motion photos will be turned off on all phones. I won't use the night mode to be able to continue hit the shutter key and take back-to-back -back photos. Samsung scene optimizer and Apple's scene detection are turned on. The Pixel 5 doesn't have an explicit option for this, so I will keep it on the default settings. The picture format will be set to high efficiency on all phones to minimize the risk of filling my storage during the test, and the raw option will be turned off as well. On the iPhone, the prioritize faster shooting is turned on. I have some objects in the scene to let the camera do some work and process the image. I used an auto clicker app on the S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5 to keep tapping on the shutter key continuously and it's set to the maximum speed of 10 milliseconds action interval time. But I couldn't find a similar app for iOS and I tried every possible way without success so I used the switch control feature of iOS, set a custom recipe so by this when I tap anywhere on the screen the phone will automatically keep tapping on the shutter key. The only problem is I have to keep tapping the screen every now and then as it stops after a while. Next, I will count the number of photos and measure the temperature every hour to give you an idea about the progress. No apps running in the background except the auto clicker app on the S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5 only, switch control on the 12 Pro Max and the native photos app to be able to quickly count the photos in the middle of the test. No photos listed under today's date to make sure the multi-selection for today's photos will only include the ones captured in this comparison, no case used on any of the phones to get accurate temperature measures and finally the battery is 1 100% so let's start the comparison starting from the first second and the 12 pro max was noticeably faster than the other two phones look at how fast the recent photo thumbnail gets updated the S21 Ultra comes second with a big margin and the pixel 5 was the slowest so let's fast forward to see what's gonna happen After 26 minutes worth of photos, the S21 Ultra showed its first temperature warning, asking me to quit the camera and wait for the phone to cool down, while the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5 are still fine. The S21 Ultra reached 51 degrees Celsius, so I turned off the display and gave it some time. After 6 minutes of waiting, the S21 Ultra temperature dropped to 35 degrees, which is reasonable, so I started the automatic shutter again. The 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5 finished the first hour without any thermal warnings or issues, while the S21 Ultra took 6 minutes to cool down halfway through. 
When it comes to the temperatures, the S21 Ultra reached a maximum of 51 degrees Celsius after the first 26 minutes and 49.1 degrees after the second 27 minutes. The 12 Pro Max reached 48.2 degrees and the Pixel 5 was at 49.9 degrees. The battery percentages are 71, 75 and 76 respectively. The S21 Ultra has a photo count of 2438. The 12 Pro Max took 5815 photos which is almost double the S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5 was far behind with a count of 1601. The 12 Pro Max had impressive results in the first hour, it got the highest photo count by far, the lowest temperature, and a battery percentage of 75%, which is higher than the S21 Ultra despite its lower battery capacity. Now let's move on to the second hour. After 5 minutes, the S21 Ultra showed a temperature warning again as it started the second hour with high temperature of 49.1 degrees, so it didn't take long to show the second one at 49.6 degrees, so once more I will give it some time to cool down. After 5 minutes and 15 seconds, the temperature dropped to 35 degrees, so I started the automatic shutter again. And here we go again, the S21 Ultra had another temperature warning but this time it took longer than expected, it showed up after 32 minutes with a temperature of 50.4 degrees. I'm really impressed by the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5, it's been an hour and 43 minutes so far and none of them had any thermal issues. It did cool down after 6 minutes and I started the shutter again at 35 degrees. The second hour finished, the S21 Ultra had two thermal warnings at 49.6 and 50.4 degrees and it ended the second hour with 46.3. The 12 Pro Max is still the best at 47.1 and the Pixel 5 reached 50 degrees for the first time so hopefully it will continue without any thermal warnings. When it comes to the battery, the Pixel 5 was the highest at 46% followed by the 12 Pro Max and the S21 Ultra at 44%. And finally, the 12 Pro Max is killing it with the photo count. It captured 11,269 photos followed by the S21 Ultra at 4,806 and the Pixel 5 comes third with 3,041 photos. Now let's move on to the third hour. As expected, another thermal warning on the S21 Ultra after 23 minutes with a temperature of 50.8 degrees. And the cooldown period was 5 minutes and 50 seconds with the temperature dropped to 35.5 degrees. And here's the fifth thermal warning after another 26 minutes, only 5 minutes remaining in the third hour so I will let the S21 Ultra cool down and then go ahead and check the battery and photo count. The third hour is over and the 12 Pro Max is still impressing me with the thermal management and it keeps getting better. After 3 continuous hours of shooting, the temperature is 46.7 which is better than the second hour of 47.1. The S21 Ultra's temperature before the last thermal warning was 50.8 degrees and the Pixel 5 is still holding up for 3 hours without thermal warnings at 49.1 degrees which is also better than the previous hour. The battery percentages are 14% for the S21 Ultra, 11% on the 12 Pro Max and 14% for the Pixel 5. The photo count is an easy one for the iPhone. With 16,797 photos, the S21 Ultra has 6,985 which is almost 10,000 less than the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5 only got 3,971. There isn't much remaining in the phone batteries to complete another hour but I will keep the shooting active until they die.
the thermal warning number 6 for the S21 Ultra after 19 minutes and the battery percentage is only 1%. I gave it 4 minutes to cool down and then start it again to finish the last 1%. After 23 minutes the 12 Pro Max went dead, followed by the S21 Ultra 15 seconds later, while the Pixel 5 still has some power to finish and it went dead after 7 more minutes. Now I'm gonna put all phones on the charger to power them up and check the numbers. Let's start with the photo count. The 12 Pro Max smashed it with 18,922 photos, the S21 Ultra is at 7875 which is no way near, same as the Pixel 5 with a count of 5113 photos. Now let's take a look at the battery usage. Starting with the S21 Ultra, the camera usage is 2 hours and 53 minutes which is lower than expected due to the thermal warnings that didn't allow me to use the camera 6 times during the test. When it comes to the 12 Pro Max, it doesn't calculate the data since the last full charge, only the last 24 hours. So I need to calculate it manually. The phone was fully charged at 8.05 pm and the camera used for 54 minutes between 8 to 9 pm, 59 minutes between 9 to 10, 58 minutes between 10 to 11 and finally 9 minutes between 11 to 12 and that makes a total of 3 hours. Based on my calculations, this number should be 3 hours and 23 minutes, but I will trust the settings for now. Finally, the Pixel 5 was the best when it comes to the duration. The camera app was active for 3 hours and 33 minutes, which is impressive. From these numbers, the 12 Pro Max is in another league when it comes to speed and thermals. Capturing and processing 18,922 photos in 3 hours on a single charge without a single temperature warning is insane. The S21 Ultra results are very disappointing for the specs and price, only 7,875 photos and 6 temperature warnings during the test. The Pixel 5 was lacking behind in the photos count which is expected from the Snapdragon 765G, however it kept the camera app open for the longest duration of 3 hours and 33 minutes and it handled the whole test without temperature warnings. So that's pretty much it for today, that was my stress test between the S21 Ultra, the 12 Pro Max and the Pixel 5. So I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.